Quý vị đang tham gia vào chương trình lễ tưởng niệm 911 lần thứ 20. Sau đây mời quý vị theo dõi bài cầu nguyện của dân biểu liên bang Alan Lowenthal và thượng nghị sĩ tiểu bang California Tom Umber. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Congressman Alan Lowenthal, the representative from California 47 District and the Honorable Tom Umber, California Senate 34 District for the tribute to the prayer. Thank you. Good evening. Good afternoon, really. I'm Congressman Alan Lowenthal, and I'm honored to join the community today as we remember the terrorist attack on the United States on September 11th, 2001. I want to thank Little Saigon TV for having this special commemoration within the Moon Landing Festival program today. The annual Mid-Autumn or Moon Festival is a time to honor families. Therefore, it is also fitting that we take this time to remember and to honor the family members who lost their loved ones on September 11th, 2001. Almost 3,000 Americans died in that terrorist attack on our nation. And we will never forget, just as we will never forget the sacrifices of the many thousands of service men and women who have given their lives to defend our freedom, our values, and the American way of life. September 11th, 2001 is a special day also because it has united all Americans from all walks of life, of all colors, genders, religions, and cultural backgrounds, all of us united in our determination to reject fear and to stand up for freedom. Today, 20 years later, we remain united as a nation of immigrants, standing up for freedom, justice, and human rights, both at home and, a, and abroad. Nothing will ever change that. As we commemorate the 20th anniversary of 9-11, let us also remember and honor the sacrifices of the service men and women, our veterans and our allies in Afghanistan who defended the freedoms that we enjoy today. We all know that the war in Afghanistan has ended but today, America is more determined than ever to defend our nation and our freedom, as well as to continue to be a beacon of light and hope for the world. We are a nation of immigrants, and we have always welcomed those who are seeking freedom, including our Vietnamese refugees, who came more than four decades ago, and now, and now, we are about to welcome Afghan refugees who are, in, who are our allies in this war for freedom and war against terrorism. Let us stand united in supporting Afghan reg refugees who they themselves supported our men and women in our military service to our nation. Let us also support 
our, all of our immigrant communities and continue to build a prosperous United States. In closing, I wish everyone a very happy Moon Festival and thank you for joining us today to honor Patriot Day on the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Thank you and may God bless you. May God bless the United States of America. Good afternoon. Just as I leave, I would like to also present from the House of Representatives a certificate of recognition to Little Saigon TV on the 20th anniversary of 9-11 at the 2021 Moon Lantern Festival. Thank you so much. I'm state senator, and I am very proud to be standing here with Congressman Alan Lowenthal. For those of you who know Congressman Lowenthal, you know what a champion he is for Orange County and what a champion he is for the Vietnamese American community. So thank you for all you do for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Lowenthal. Thank you all. Thank you, Little Saigon TV. Thank you, uh, Vietnamese Artist Friendship Club for organizing this. Special thank you to Mr. John. Oh, we have some certificates also. Thank you, Quinn. Uh, to Mr. John Tan Ding and Anthony Hugh Kuo, if I could present these. Thank you very much. Thank you for your patriotism and your effort here. Thank you so much. All right. And we have one more. So, can I give this to you? May I present this to you on behalf of the State Senate? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to the leaders from Santa Ana and Garden Grove who are here with us also today to recognize the importance of this remembrance of 9-11, this remembrance of those who made sacrifices. Some made ultimate sacrifice. I am so pleased to see the young people here. And thank you, moms and dads, for bringing the young people they weren't around. They don't remember 9-11. But the legacy of 9-11 stays with us. It stays with us because we have many who continue to suffer. If you go to VA hospital, you'll note those that continue to suffer and their families are continuing to need. And also, as Congressman Lowenthal mentioned, a special, a special recognition of this community because you know war, many of you know war, and you know what it means to flee an oppressive regime. And right now, right now, as we stand here, as we sit here today, there are thousands that are coming to the United States who are frightened, who are alienated, who are lonely, and who need our support. And this community, the Vietnamese American community, is in a unique position because you can understand that challenge, and you've reached out and been very generous. So I want to thank all of you for your generosity and your recognition of how important it is that we welcome those who fought and served and bled with us in Afghanistan, just as you fought and bled with us in Vietnam. Thank you all. We will remember. We will remember. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.